Hey everybody, Kevin P. McAuliffe here, and I'm one of the senior editors at MyJo in Toronto, and I am back again with another Boris TV tutorial, and this time we're going to go back to my favorite plugin inside BCC7, and we're going to take a look at doing a secondary color correction technique that uses a brand new feature in Adobe's After Effects CS5, and that is Rotobrush. And as you can see in front of you, I have an animation, and if you look very closely, you can notice that the coffee cup changes colors midway through. I did this on purpose to show you what the coffee cup color looked like before and what it looked like after. Now the before is the brownish color and the after is the purple color you see towards the start. And I'm going to show you how using Rotobrush you can save yourself so much time from having to get in there and use the masking tool. You can quickly and easily do it in Rotobrush and produce some excellent looking secondary color correction with BCC7's three-way color grade. Now there are a couple of things I do want to mention before we start, so I'm just going to quit out of QuickTime and I'm going to Command Tab into Firefox. I do want to mention that if you want to follow along with this tutorial, you can simply head on over to the Digital Juice website and you can download a free demo of BCC7 for Adobe's After Effects. It's important to keep in mind that 3-Way Color Grade is offered inside the After Effects plugin bundle only. So keep that in mind when you're downloading the demo. Also, I want to point out that if you're interested in picking up 3-Way Color Grade, you can pick it up as part of the fantastic BCC7 package, or you can even pick it up as a continuum unit on its own. Okay, so I'm just going to hide back out of Firefox, and I'm going to Command Tab into Adobe's After Effects. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to need is a clip to work with. So I'm just going to come over here to my project window. I'm going to press Command and I on the Mac, Control and I on Windows. And I'm just going to come to my desktop into my Rotobrush 3-Way Color Grade folder. And I'm going to select a clip from Digital Juice's Video Tracks HD. And I'm just going to say Open. And I'll take this clip and I'll drag it down into the Create New Composition button so that it creates a composition that's the exact same size and parameters as my clip. And you can see here that if I scroll down, it's a pretty straightforward shot to tilt up and then the woman walks out of frame. Now I'm going to show you here how we can quickly and easily do a secondary color grade to the cup using Rotobrush. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to come back to the beginning of our timeline, and what we need to do to start working with Rotobrush is we need to double click on the clip. As soon as I double click on the clip, it's now going to display for me the layer instead of the composition. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to come up here to the top, and you'll see right here I have a button that's called Rotobrush. I'm going to select it, and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom in on my image here, and we'll just pan over. And all I'm going to do now is I'm simply going to draw a line from the upper left to the lower right-hand corner to define what I want to mask. As soon as I let go, you'll see that Rotobrush has done a pretty good job of defining the area. Now I have to get in and make a few minor tweaks, so let's just draw across here. And we'll just draw down the side a little bit. And last but certainly not least, we're just going to draw around the handle. Now what's going to happen is as soon as I'm done drawing the handle, you're going to see it's going to fill the entire cup up, and we're just going to make sure we get that corner as well. Now how we remove this or subtract it from our mat, what I should do for a second is just jump back to my composition, because you can see that we now have our cup very roughly cut out. I'm going to show you how we can define this and refine it in just a second. So I'm just going to jump back into my layer, and what I'm going to do is instead of dragging in here to define what I want to add, I'm going to hold Option on the Mac or Alt on Windows, and I'm going to drag across to define what I want to remove, just like that. You can see that Rotobrush has done a pretty good job. I'm just going to define that area just like that. And I can see up here that we need just a little bit more of an edge. And I'm just going to jump back to my composition for one second, because what I want to do is I want to define how smooth I want to make this. We'll make this 5. I'll leave the feather as 20, and we'll set the choke to 2. Now, if you come back and take a look, we now have a much smoother, better defined cup. And I can just zoom in here so we can get a good look at it. That's looking pretty good. So why don't I go through? I'm going to show you how we can do this with 5 frames, because doing that, you'll get the idea of how this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back to my layer. And now all I have to do is one of two things. If I wanted to go through frame by frame and have Rotobrush update each frame, I can simply come up here and I can click on the frame by frame button. Or what I can do is simply hit the space bar. And once I hit the space bar, After Effects will start previewing this clip and as it's previewing it, Rotobrush is updating automatically. And you can see I'm just going to stop it right there because we got a bit of an issue going on here. So I'm just going to back up to where we have the issue start, which is right there. Move ahead one frame. I'm going to hold Option on the Mac, Alt on Windows. We're just going to drag that out. Perfect. Next frame, a bit of the same issue, so we're just going to do the same thing. The rest of the cup is looking good, and I'm just going to advance down two more frames here so we get 10 frames, and you get the idea of the way this works. And you can see that we had a little bit of an issue there with some edges, so I can fix it just like that. 
and there's 10 frames. Now I'm just gonna come back to my composition for one second and that cup's looking pretty good. You could see if we wanted to, we could get in and really define this the way that we want, but I'm pretty happy with the way that this looks. So what I'm gonna do is I'm simply gonna duplicate this clip by pressing Command and D on the Mac, Control and D on Windows, and I'm gonna press F3 again twice just to make sure that I'm looking at the roto brush that's on the bottom layer because I wanna remove it. So I'm just gonna hit Delete, and now all I have to do to apply my effect is simply select the top layer. You can see there's Roto Brush. I'm now simply gonna come up to Effect. I'm gonna come down to BCC7 Color Blurs and I'm gonna select three-way color grade. As soon as I do, nothing happens, but let's come down and let's color correct this layer. So what I'm gonna do is simply take my gain, I'm gonna swing it over towards magenta and you can see the color of the cup change immediately to be the color that I had in the preview shot. You'll see that if I come back to the beginning, I can now simply click through. Let me just zoom back here so we can see the whole image. And you'll see, just like that, this looks fantastic. And you can see that I did that in no time flat with the power of Roto Brush and BCC7's three-way color grade. So I hope this tutorial has shown you that you have a lot of options when it comes to working with three-way color grade. It is such a great and flexible plugin. You can use it on its own to do primary color correction. You can even use it on its own to do primary and secondary color correction. Or depending on how you like to work, you could even work with it in this fashion using the power of Roto Brush inside After Effects to create very good, very different, yet very simple color grades in no time flat. So if you have any questions, comments, or tutorial requests, you can send them to support at borisfx.com. This has been Kevin P. McAuliffe. Thanks a lot for watching.